the chair makes some of these decisions, we need to do a little bit of consultation such that the entire committee is on the same page. We had thought we would adjourn this matter to Monday, but we have reviewed our record. The, indeed, the road mayor wrote, can I look at the letter? Sorry, not the Lord Mayor. The Did we say the FDC president wrote? <laughs> uh, indeed, the council for the Honorable Zake wrote uh, to us, and this this how he concludes the letter the time we wanted to, to, to have these hearings begin. Therefore, I request that the committee proceedings intended for 25th October 2023 be adjourned to another day. We suggest any day from the 28th October to the 12th November or from the 18th November to the 29th. He brought it to our attention that between the 12th of uh, November to the 18th will not be available. And we never reply to this letter, meaning we actually accepted this request. So he brought it to our attention that he will not be around. We therefore agree as a committee that the request be granted because he had brought it to our attention in time. We will therefore be adjourning that particular matter to the 18th. I'm sorry, Chair, it's the day I'm returning. And I already have my ticket for that day. Oh, as you say, we are not going to stampede anybody. We are going always to accommodate anybody. Can we say the 19th? We give you the 20th? OK. There is some, there is some, I understand there is a disease for people who travel in planes called jet lag. Especially if they travel economy. Because the 19th I wanted to adjourn this matter to is actually a Sunday. I wanted us to come on a Sunday. Anyway. That joke aside, we'll want to it to the 20th. I'm sure the, the, the lawyer for the Honorable Zake would have returned, had enough rest, and we'll proceed. Thereafter, we'll be doing it every other day until we conclude this matter. Okay? So between the 20th to the 29th, we think both matters should be concluded. Both of them. Both of them. So, Thank you very much. This matter, therefore, will be adjourned to the 20th of November. And on that 20th, uh, we are going to hear, I think, we, we, we have a set of witnesses we are going to invite. And those are the people who are in the chambers during the time under probe. We shall start with the technical staff.
one, the sergeant at arms. We always have two clerks on a table. The two clerks at table. And then we have what we call doorkeepers, staff that are within the chambers when that incident happened. Those may be two, two, one, five, five witnesses. Uh, and I, I think thereafter, we don't think we will need any other witness after that. But in a case, because of that, we need other, we'll always let you know. But as of now, we intend to call five other witnesses, and they are sergeant at arms, the two clerk at table, and then the two doorkeepers who are st technical staff within the chambers. Uh, I'll ask the clerk to communicate that also in writing to Honorable Zakas Ruiz lawyers by close of business today. But at least we brought it to the attention. That matter is there for... Before, I, before you take a leave of the matter, Chair, you are working out a program for the witnesses. Yes. And earlier on, from your guidance, you indicated these are witnesses of the committee. And indeed, we are entirely agree. But uh, they are those we deem necessary to be here. And your indication is as if once these ones are, it will be on the discretion of the committee to decide whether they are necessary or not. But for us, they are, we see there are some witnesses who are left out, which we consider to be very, very important for the justice of this matter to be done. So, uh, you, you reply to the committee. First of all, if you think there is a witness whom you can carry here, bring it to our attention. If you think it's necessary, mm -hmm. but if you think it is a witness you would want through us, you have to apply to us. Mm -hmm. And then we see he, the relevance of that witness. No, no, ch 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 we are following your ruling and guidance that this is an inquiry. Yes. And uh, you said it's not adversarial in nature. No prosecution, no defense. So I wouldn't like to say a situation where witnesses are segmented, that these are our witnesses and these are witnesses of the other side. I said all witnesses can only come here when we've agreed and sanctioned, all of them, because they are ours. If you have any witness you have in mind whom you think is what? Is relevant. You do apply to us. Then we can we will take a decision whether that witness is necessary or not. It's the reason the chair wanted to move this committee through you at this stage that certain witnesses whom we consider to be vital for this case be also summoned. And this is why at this stage so that we don't we open. We open. You, you let us know, and we take a decision. We wanted to do it now, Chair. Go ahead. Oh, Professor, thank you. Chair, well, from the testimony of Kutos, he has indicated that the people who were around the Honorable Zaki need to be interviewed. And the police indicated they never interviewed them. They never interrogated them. And from their, the, that report of Kutos, there are names that are specifically mentioned. They mention a number of MPs, including the Honorable Nabeshi, and a couple of others who are surrounding the Honorable Zaki. We consider them to be relevant, Chair, those MPs. Because even some of those names are appearing in this report. Honorable Nabeshi specifically appears here, and some others. So we can generate the list of those who are close to him so that the investigation is conclusive. Kuto said their investigation was not conclusive. So that is number one, the cassette number one. Two, Chair, we have read the statement of the speaker over and over again, preceding the directive that the matter be forwarded to the committee. 
And Chair, when you look at the statement of the speaker here, it's our considered opinion. There are a couple of things which need to be substantiated by the speaker here. One, Chair, it's not that clear from the statement of the speaker. What is it that the Honorable Zake did which required him to be subjected to a disciplinary action? From the statement it is here, it is detailed. The speaker states a number, I like to say a couple of things here in this statement which may be subjected to investigation without us knowing. And in the interest, like you, you have kept on emphasizing, and I must applaud you, Chair, the tenets of human rights, rather of the right to a fair hearing, I'm sorry. You have emphasized the tenets of the right to a fair hearing. And I remember alluded to that fact in the ruling of the Honorable Zake in the Constitutional Court, where the lead judgment cited Article 28, the one to get to know exactly the gist of the investigations and the allegations leveled against them. Now, in this particular one, there are a couple of things the speaker is talking about. That the Honorable Zake, for example, missed 10 sittings without his permission. Is it a matter of investigation so that he prepares a defense? Because he says the commitment to that, I started it without Honorable Zake. Honorable Zake has not been in this house for over 10 sittings. He has not been here without my permission. If I go on the answer, I can prove it on the record. But I have never spoken about him because he's a brother. You leave him as a colleague. Maybe he's, he's blah, blah. So is that part of the acts of misconduct for the Honorable Zake missing 10 sittings? Well, do you, to, when you read that, Yes. do you think that's an issue which was referred here? He read all this and said on that note, I forward you to the committee for investigation, for this. Our action. understanding is different. It no. Our understanding, because of reading the answer and the evidence we are having is different. It is purely the conduct, the physical conduct of Honorable Zaki at that time is what is in issue only. Yeah, now, now in this statement, the physical conduct is not there. In the statement of the speaker, and that would be important. He may not have used the word physical conduct. Yes. But just read the entire reference. But that will be later. No, Chair. No, no, that's, that will be later, please. That will be later. One, we are going to have a set of witnesses whom we have told you, and it's all about the conduct of the Honorable Zak. And the communication to Honorable Zak was about that conduct. That's because we wrote to him. That's what we are inquiring about. But let me say one thing, and I've emphasized this, that this is not a court proceeding. But analogous, as we always say, there's this thing called the concept of court, for which I'm sure you are well versed with. I don't know whether that's a matter which requires judge sheet, a concept of court. I don't know whether that's a matter which requires a presiding judicial officer to come and give evidence that you have a judge who will come and is someone to give evidence, or prosecutors and so on. Or if something happens in the eye of the court, what happens? But anyway, that's for your food of thought. Think about it. It I is in our mind. I was finishing the prayer. No, speaking. if you are finishing the prayer, have that in mind. Because you know, what, what we are doing is not reinventing the wheel. If there is a breach, a conduct which breaches rules and procedure in the eyes of a judge. Do, do we have particulars? Do you have prosecutors? And, and there are many instances and authorities and precedents about conduct breaching the rules, physical conduct breaching the rules in the presence of a presiding office or a judicial office. But that's not for a conversation for now. But as you come back, have that in mind with what you have raised. 
Having said that, I didn't finish the chair. Please, I was, please finish. I was finishing here, Chair, on the issue of conduct or misconduct. Again, Chair, like we had earlier on indicated, and we want to emphasize this, why we want, would like the speaker to be called. The conduct is talking about... Here. That point has been made. No, the, the drama, is talking about the drama, that if you want drama, go to, we have national theatre here, if you, you want pictures to be taken so that you, you use them for campaigns, so is this the conduct is complaining about? So we didn't want to get to understand, and understand as chair. If one says, you people, you have conducted yourself in an unbecoming manner, you tell me you have done A, B, C, D. And the speaker did not say it here, and that's why you would like to have no, the no, 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 as a witness. Le, 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 le. Okay, let, let's put it this way. Uh, let, let's put it this way. We are in, inquiring about a particular conduct. Whether this conduct amounted to the breach of our code of conduct and our rules of procedure. And that we have said it from the beginning. We shall say it again now and we shall say it again tomorrow. So let us have this inquiry. And if we find out that there is a possible breach of the code of conduct, we are going to put it on Ozake and it will have opportunity to respond. I repeat, if we find that there is a possible breach of our code of conduct with the evidence which will have been adduced to this committee in his presence, we are going to put it to him. Because at the end of the day, Honorable Zake has not had his opportunity to explain his side of the story to us. But what is he going to explain until we get the evidence and put it to him? And that's what we are going to do. We are going to have that evidence, put it to him. The good news is, Mr. Lukwa, that actually the evidence which we have, you have been imparted to it as it has been presented. So there would be an evidence coming outside which you have not seen and even had an opportunity to cross-examine on. So we are going to put it to him and seek his side of the story or his response. And, and if you think the evidence of the speaker was relevant and we didn't, you have an opportunity to say, by the way, this is what it is. As of now, we think we are going to have the technical people who are in the chambers. And that we have told you who. The clerk to the table, the sergeant at arms, and what we call doorkeepers, those guys who put on white like a doves within the chambers. That's the set of witnesses we need. On that point, that matter is adjourned. Can we now move to the second matter, please? Fourth of October. A matter arose in the house and was raised by the Honorable Chinyamatama. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. If I don't, please. Uh, but I can say Honorable Subi. Subi is very easy. And why Subi is very easy, I know Mr. Rias Rukwago, the Honorable Rias Rukwago. At one time, he was a member of a group called Subi. So. <laughs> So I, I think let's say on the Honorable Suvi, now that you agree on Honorable Kwag, it is easy to pronounce them. Uh, a matter was referred to us by the speaker. It caused a little bit of acrimony in the house. And uh, when you look at page 10, triple five of the answer, this is what the speaker says. Honorable colleagues, I refer this matter to the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Discipline as per Rule 175 to report back within 45. And the video will be played as evidence in the committee. I think it would be a middle ground because there are people who have not watched it and I would not have, I would not want it, I would not want to give it prime time. It was really bad. I have ruled on the matter. 
Honorable Chinyama Tama, I'm sorry for that. So this matter was referred to us. Uh, we don't want to go into the background of it, because that's what we are going to investigate. But I don't know, Clark, have you brought that uh, tape? It is there? So, for purposes of the record, the Honorable Chinyama Tama, you are welcome to, to this committee. We would like you to lay on table that video and also, because you laid it on table, but whether that video is the one we are going to watch it together, is the one you are complaining about. Uh, of course, we have written to the Honorable Zake, forwarded the tape, and the answered. Is there any other material which we have? And then we have gone ahead to order for the transcribing and, tra and translation, because the tape, I understand, is in Uganda. So we refer to the Makere University to have it translated into English, which is the language of parliament, but also to get people like me who don't know Uganda to understand what is going on. Uh, for purpose of the record, I see you came with some people. Can we know who they are? Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. I was actually almost raising on a procedural matter because I wanted you to know the team I've come with. Uh, and uh, I request these are uh, my councils, and I request that they introduce themselves. For yeah. the I am Edgar Tavaro. I'm appearing jointly with Kenneth Chiparu and Mr. Nobat Nyakuni. The Tavaro I knew was a judge of the... Is He's, he's happily enjoying his retirement. Okay. <laughs> I happen to be advocate tower. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> you would might a mistake and write it just. Tower. Sometimes it's happened. <laughs> For the record, I stand guided. Okay. So we jointly represent uh, the Honorable Chairman. Chiman okay. Let Chiman. the record capture such. Uh, the Honorable Lukwago. I don't know. Is no, the, no, no, the Honorable Lukwago. The Honorable Zake. Can you? purposes of the record. We are going through some formalities, but it's for purposes of our record. Honorable Chair, I earlier introduced my lawyers. Uh, These other lawyers were not here. So let's now have one record. Oh, all yeah. right. Yeah. Mr. Chair, I introduce His Worship, the Lord Mayor of Kampala, uh, Honorable Elias Lukwago, as my lawyer. I thank you. Okay, can the lawyer go on record, please? Lukwa Gerias is my name, Chair, and I have instructions to handle the matter. You are not alone here with the colleagues. That's, that's why, actually. He is my assistant in the same law firm. The name, the name. He's Sas Marvin, my assistant. Sas? Sas Marvin. Sas Marvin. Yes, same law firm. Okay. So, I think we are going to start like this. One, we want to view the tape together, confirm whether that's the tape the Honorable Chinyat Matama was talking about. And can you confirm, Honorable Zake, whether you received the tape? Honorable Zake? Honorable Zake, did you receive that tape which they are complaining about, sent by Parliament to you? Yeah, we received it. You received it. Uh, did you receive the translation? It was as well received. Sorry? It was received. It was also received. OK. Uh, <coughs> did you receive the translation? Now I'll be talking to your lawyers. Did you, your client receive the translation she from did, us? She did receive it. She did? She did. OK. Let's have the, the tape played first. Pro procedurally, I beg your indulgence. Yeah. Uh, the, before the tape is played, the Honorable Chinya Matama would like to make a statement. A what? A statement. No, sta that? no, 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 no. Really, this is no time for statements, counsel. I, I stand guided. Yeah, this is no time for statement. <laughs> Uh, 
hold on, hold on, hold on. We want this thing to play from as it was given. Don't censure it. Uh, don't edit, don't censure it. Play it right from the beginning up to the end. Chair, the clerk I have here with me, uh, a letter from the coordinator of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Center for Language and Communication Services, Makere Institute of Languages Project. The letter is dated 18th October, and it is addressed to the Parliament of Uganda, Office of the Clerk to Parliament. Uh, P.O. Box 7178, Kampala, Uganda. Dear sir, we request for transcription and translation services. We received your request in a letter dated 16th October 2023 to accurately transcribe a video clip in Uganda and translate it into English. The video source file was delivered to our offices on a TDK DVDR recordable compact disc saved as WhatsApp video 2023-10-16 at 14.16.38 lasting approximately uh, 001 51 minutes. We transcribed and translated the video referenced as CLC SDC slash K002 slash 17 slash 10 2023 at a cost of 280,000 Ugandan shillings, only paid to Makere Institute of Languages uh, project account. We therefore forward to you a transcription and translation of the video for use as prescribed in your letter for plenary session of parliament. 
we confirm that the transcription and the translation of the video are accurate to the best of our knowledge. If you need further information regarding the transcription and or translation of the same, please contact us, yours sincerely, Medat Sentanda, PhD coordinator. Honorable Chair members and the witnesses, I now go to the <coughs> translation itself. Uh, translation CLC SDC slash K002 slash 17 slash 10 slash 2023. Translation of transcription of audiovisual clip in Uganda. WhatsApp uh, brackets, WhatsApp video 2023 10 16 at 14. Dot 16.38.0001510 minutes. A. It's all about one what? Audience, one person. A. Even if he uses witchcraft, he will not be there. We are youth. Our president is a youth. We too are youth. Do you want to say he's going to be around? and we shall all leave him behind. Audience, he's going to die. Now, you should know that, then dash, 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 we should be focused. Support your fellow youths. Stop supporting old people. Support the what, dash, dash, dash. And a question mark. Audience, the youth. A, and what am I hearing that you have? Dash, dash, dash. You don't have any member of parliament here, save for those, for those ones who go there, and dash, 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 they don't even go there. Hey, I hear that here you are, uh, sorry, I hear that here you have Javira. He's the most stupid person in this parliament. Audience, then there's a uh, rotation. Um, hey, he does not say anything in parliament. He's just there. He's there to just make parliament chairs sweet. Sweat, sorry. Sweat. Allotations, then A. Uh, uh, eh? And when we are there and smell a stench in parliament, we check on Javira. Because we know it must be coming from him. O audience. Then rotations A, and now, dash, 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 we have this Nalumansi called Chinyamatama. That is very fake. Exclamation mark. Audience, rotation A, she is always there, as if she's selling her body in parliament. Dash, dash, dash. Please don't bring us disasters again in parliament. And that one, please, don't do what? Dash, 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 then question mark. Audience, bring her. A, because those ones are doing a lot to keep us in captivity in the parliament and making the parliament useless. And the parliament has become a talk show. In the same way we come here and talk and leave everything here. It does not decide anything. But we want you to send strong people and you have them in front of you here, so that we go and shake that parliament until we get what? Dash, 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 question mark. A change, full stop. And by 2026, all that will be already, all that will already be finished because they don't, dash, dash, dash. But we can only achieve that if we put in efforts by not doing things just for entertainment and by turning these words into action. <laughs> Honorable Chair, the next uh, translation is in Luganda. What do you mean by Luganda? It's the Luganda version of the same version, but in Luganda. How can, I thought the, it was in Luganda. How can it be translated in Luganda? No, uh, Honorable, it's, uh, it's, sorry, it's uh, transcribed. Sorry, transcribed. Oh, transcribed. Yes, sorry. Okay, <coughs> that's not translation. Yes. Audio. 
the record should capture it. Who, who, where is the technical person who can read it? The, the can you read it? Can you get any of our, because I want it captured on the record. You can read? Yeah. Oh, honorable record. Uh, thank you so much. This is a transcription of audiovisual clip in Luganda. Uh, WhatsApp video 2023-10-16 at 14-16-38 as from 00, 00, 001-51-00 minutes. A. Chona chona chilikumu ntuatia audience. Omu. Nebuana akoza sedogo tajja kusobola kubera u. Fetuli bavubuka. President wa fe mvubuka. Na fe tulibavubuka. Choga manti agenda kubela wo paka paka. Fe na tumuleke wo audience. Agenda kufa. E. Katimumanyenti. Dash, dash, dash. Tubela kumula mwa. Mubele kumuvubuka muna mwe. Mubele kubafubuka banda mwe. Muve mkuwagira abakade. Mwagire abachi audience. Abafubuka. Era bino bie mpulira simanya mulina yo. Dash, dash, dash. Eno temulina mubaka wa parliament no mu. Okuleka Abagende eri dash 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 no kubera wo no kubera yo teba teba kola chi audience teba bera yo e eh. mpuli na simanyi eno muli nayo javira ya cha singa okubera omusiru ennyo mu parliament eno audience uri Unilations, bako wa wenduru. E, talina chayogera mu parliament, aliyo bubezi. Kubela wo, kubanga tuya nyabu tuya nya, ntebe za, za mu parliament. Audience, unilations. Ela wetu beleyo, wetu ulina echivundu mu parliament. Tukebela kujavira, ate kwa kuba, Ya vera chita dewo. Audience. Relations. E. Kati ate. Dash, dash, dash. Ate tulina yoka na romans. Baka itaka ya. Chinna matama. Ate ako. Kafu nyo nyo nyo. Audience. Relations. E. Kabela. Kabela wali. Eri kumpi kubaka. Kubanga ketunda. Kubanga ketunda owe tunzi mu parliament. Dash, dash, dash. Temudamu kutule etela ban, banange. Temudamu kutule etela banange. Sinani mu parliament. Erako. Temukakola chi? Audience. Tetukaleta. E. Kubanga avo. Beba cha sinze okutisibira mu mubusibe mu parliament yeyo ne mu parliament ne parliament ne fuka useless era parliament ya fuka talk show nga wetu jawano ne twogera ne tubirekawo teri na che teri na teri na che ne tubireka awo ne tubireka wano Teli na che salawo. Na yetu wagala musindike yo avantu. Nganja sabigu. Ate mubali na wano. Ngate bali mumasu gamwe. Tugende tuzoganye parlamente yo. Paka. Bwetula wanga tufunye echi. Enchuka chuka. 
atebe byonna byonna bijja abiri mu kaza wana atukira ngebe byonna byonna byagwadda kuba bagenda kuba tebakola chi dash 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 na yebyo tusobola kutu na ye ebyo tusobola kutuka wo nga tutaddemu amanyi nga tuvuddemu ebyo ebyo kugamba anti tusanyu 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 saamu busanyu sa bino ebigambo ne tubifula ebikolwa and there cha yes one of the it was my complaint okay Maybe for Papa's, uh, um, Zake, was that you in the, in the video clip? Chair, we have a procedural matter. No, let me, uh, was that you in the video clip? Chair, we have a procedural matter. Please, uh, I, you were going to raise it. Yeah, it's a procedural I just, matter. Uh, you are going to raise it's it. Let us. procedure, before he responds, it's a matter of law. Okay, raise it if it's a matter of law. Yes, Chair. We want to understand, is it a trial or an inquiry? If it's a trial, then he has to take an answer. He has to give an, a response. If it's an inquiry, it's it, not a mandatory. It, 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 is a, it is an inquiry. It is an inquiry. And I repeat it, it is an inquiry, it is an investigation. Can I ask, Honorable Zaka, is that you? Chair, may we have the video played again? To understand whether it is him. To get to understand exactly what is contained on the same. Uh, you're going to have it, but let me see. We want to know who could be talking about some other person. Is, is that, first of all, is it true that that is the video which you received from us? Honorable Chair, Chair, that is the video we received. That 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 is the the footage that we received. Okay, is that Honorable Zakis? Honorable Zakis, is that you in that video? Chair, would like to get to understand at this stage. We like procedurally, Chair. A case be made, we get to understand what he has to respond okay, to. Okay, where is the procedure? Which rule are you citing? Chair Rule 91 of what? Of our rules of procedure. Mm. Talks of a complaint. We need to understand it. And in this particular case, Chair, the person complaining must make out a prima facie case. And the prima facie case entails the identity, including the identity of the person. It's up to them, it's up to the complainer to make out a case. Under, In, under what law? This In is the a, parliamentary proceedings, under what law? The, Chair, this is exactly what I'm talking I answer about. the question. Rule 91, Mr. Rana, it talks even about, it brings out the term. Okay, what you are submitting, case. just say under Rule 91, under rule 91. this is what is required, and read the rule, then you make the submission. And don't make the submission outside that rule. Chair. A submission outside the rule is permitted as long as I'm within the confines of the law. No, 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 no. no. Yes. See, if, it's even it, the Constitution provides for those rights. The Constitution. Honorable Robert, let me guide these proceedings. And please, I don't know how many times I'll repeat myself. I really don't know how many times I'm going to repeat myself. And I need to ask both lawyers here 
including Mr. Tabar. In a judicial system, you may have what we call a civil procedure in a court system. And it is governed by the Civil Procedure Act and rules. If you are having a criminal trial, it is governed by the Trial and the Indictments Act and the Criminal Procedure Court. Court. Don't import those processes here. Please, don't import those processes here. Mr. This particular process is governed by our own rules, different from the court rules. At the beginning, I said we are governed by the Constitution, Power and Privileges Act, the Administration of Parliamentary Act, and the rules of procedure. That is what is going to govern us. So if you are making any of your arguments, please base them according to that law, or those set of laws. We stand guided that Mr. Chairman, uh, the Honorable Lukwago has experience in uh, similar uh, quasi-judicial uh, I, I don't want you to refer to individuals. Just make your points. Because I don't want this to be like it is you against oh, Honorable Much obliged, much obliged. It's not adversarial. That's, yes. the, uh, that, that's what I pick from this, Mr. Chairman, from the leaders. It's not adversarial, it's, uh, it's inquisitorial. And the, the purpose of the inquiry is to establish the truth. And I think to that extent, uh, uh, Honorable Chair, uh, the question that has been put to the Honorable Zake is very much in order. And I don't see anything outside of the procedures. And in any case, the speaker already ruled that there was a prima facie case and referred it to this committee to establish the veracity of the complaint that has been led against, uh, been made against the Honorable MP for Michiana Municipality. Clarification, Chair. Yes, yes, sir. You know, some of us, we are not good at the law. But Honorable Lord Mayor is citing Rule 91. Would it be more prudent for us, Honorable Chair, to let him read it? We, we understand him. whether it is controlled or not. Thank you. <laughs> Here, what I protested against is to be restricted to the confines of that rule without making it. But you cited the rule yourself. Yes, but I, I wanted to make my case. Yes, I would start with the rule, but rules regarding the right to a fair hearing are universal in nature. They may not necessarily be within the rules. And one cannot contend that you not make reference to any other legal instrument where the, these principles are enshrined, including the Constitution. That's, why I, that's what I find really very, very unfair. But where do you get that? When I said that the first law will be the Constitution. I thought it's me who said it. And I cited it first. Uh, really, I don't want it to be a, a legal gymnastics. Let's have a process. If, if, if you are uncomfortable, there are always ways of handling this thing. Okay? Because the issue is, before we start, we want to ascertain the basics. Yes. Is that the Honorable Zake? And, and if you don't want to answer, that is also. Just go on record, say I don't want, and we proceed. Chair, when the video footage is in a contest, it's one of the matters we want to subject to evidence. And we find it unfair, relying on a video footage which is still in issue, which is still in contest. But who is relying on? There is to a pose a question whether he's the one or not, on the basis of a video footage which is still in issue, which has not even been proved before this call or whatever tribunal or committee as indeed a reflection of what transpired on that day. Nobody is saying there is a reflection, nobody is asking, but we want to have identifications. It is a simple question. But if you don't want to answer, that is also okay. We will proceed that notwithstanding. Colleague, you are saying something? 
Chair, I'm just getting disturbed and disappointed because uh, we are here to do justice. We have all watched the video. It's a question of saying, well, that person you're seeing there is Mizake or not. Or, I even don't know. As simple as that. Does that need any legal gymnastics? Does it need anything? Is it a constitutional issue? Honestly, you asked the Honorable uh, Suri whether that was uh, her video, and she said yes. Now, Honorable Sake, a very simple question. Having viewed what is there, do you find you being yourself there, notwithstanding your challenges and uh, issues you have as far as that video is concerned, those technicalities will be handled. But prima first, when you look at it, do you see yourself or you don't see yourself there? As simple as that, and we proceed. Or alternatively, you can say, I don't see anything, I even don't know anything about that video. Be put on record and we proceed, as simple as that. Otherwise, you're being, in my view, invasive, hiding under your, your, your advocate. Let's assist each other in, before this committee, because we are all looking for just, we want the truth. We shouldn't hide anything. You either say it is me, it's not me, or I don't know, I will not answer that question. And we proceed, and that will be put on record. As simple as that. Colleagues, do you have anything to say? Because I, I intend to, to give some guidance. Okay, I guess pray that you give Honorable Zake an opportunity again to view that video and see whether it's exactly him or not. Yes. He asked for the opportunity to see the video again. You can give Play the video again. <laughs> has been replayed. Chair, the firm stance of my client as per the instructions I have, the general principle of law which is applicable in these proceedings is very clear. He who alleges must be proof. And our contention is all the contents in that video footage are subject to proof by anyone making allegations without any issue coming out of it independently. That's our position. Honorable For, Chair, my just, just, just one second. The general principle is about proving not a fact. It's about proving your case. What we want to know is whether we are dealing with the correct people. 
That's why I asked the Honorable Chimata, Chinyamatama whether that was her video clip or not. And the only other question I can ask whether that is Honorable Zaka or not. From there, that's when we can now start on this process. But if Honorable Zaka doesn't even want to, to answer, that is also okay. We know how to proceed thereafter. That's not a problem. I, 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 I seek your indulgence uh, yes. to guide us. The rules of evidence that apply in court do not necessarily apply in the quasi-judicial proceedings. Now, the, uh, the question that has been put to the Honorable MP for Mitiana Municipality, is he the person in that video? The, the answer to that is either yes or no. It could be that he's, he suffered a lapse of memory and he doesn't recall. And it, it goes on record. And when we introduce it in evidence, then we can see how to handle it. But for now, my understanding is that it's a yes and no answer. Yes or no answer. Oh, well, he's forgotten. And now, I think there's another one. I am not going to answer. Yeah. Can we now take it that the question is, I'm not going to answer? No, 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 Chair. <laughs> let, me, let me put it differently. Actually, let me make a request, Chair. Chair, I trust you very well. I trust you too. <laughs> and the entire committee, I'm sure all of you are not oblivious of again the general principle on which our constitutional order is premised, in as far as the Bill of Rights is concerned, that thou shall not make any self-incriminating statement. In that case, Chair, we don't know the reason why you are asking. The identity, because there is no case so far made against our client. I wish we could know the case made against him. Then he responds to all the questions put to him. This is the thing. Uh, we don't want to turn it into an argument, uh, Chair. And I, 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 Let's listen to the lawyer uh, and then my colleague. I, I, you guide, uh, Mr. Chairman, you guide us and make a ruling on that. That uh, uh, is citing Rule 1991, 90, where a prima facie case was made and referred to the committee to investigate. So uh, the, the, I don't know why he keeps going back to that, to, to that, to that position. We already passed the prima facie case. And, and the case that has been made against, rather the, the, the allegations against the Honorable MP for Mijana Municipality are in writing. So if, and uh, you know, Honorable Lukwago has a background in DP where they profess truth and but, justice. But how does that help this inquiry? Truth and justice. <laughs> so you could as well. <laughs> No, I, I just want always to limit myself to the issues, really. And that's the beauty about this committee. We, we, we are so professional. And that's what I demand both of you to be, to be too professional. And we follow the rules to the latter. I think we are going to waste a lot of time on this issue. Uh, maybe for the last time, you can put this to Honorable Zake. And if he does not answer it, let it be put on record, he has not, and we proceed. Otherwise, I don't think we are going to, if we begin now bringing in general principles of law when there are specific laws and uh, rules, then you just know there is a big issue that we are likely to face. So, Chair, I propose that you put your honor was okay. He either says no, yes, I will not, this, and then we proceed. Otherwise, we may not uh, leave this uh, room. Honorable Chair, Council Kwago just said that he trusts you and trusts the committee. Doesn't that presuppose that he trusts that this committee can make a judgment whether that's uh, Honorable Zake or not? Well, I don't want to put him in a position where he's supposed to judge the committee now. He, he will judge the committee outside the committee. But as of now, let's limit ourselves to the issue. Honorable Imad? Although this committee deals with a lot to do with law, 
but many of us are not really lawyers. We are all learning. We are in the learning process. Uh, it is unfortunate, Chair, that uh, by the time we sat together with the witnesses, we had agreed on one principle, that we are going to process this case together. And I believe that's why Lord Mayor, my fellow party member, Lukwa Goisia, and, his, and the client, because he agreed with his client that we'll process this case together. Secondly, Chair, he went ahead to ensure that the, the video and the translated text, transcript of that video, was submitted to the lawyer, Lord Mayor Lukwago, and the client, they went through. So if there was any procedural problem arising from the video, I think the lawyer would have stepped here and said, Chair, the video you sent me had nothing to do with my client. The person that was presented in the video was not my client. Why, was, why are we invited to talk on a matter which doesn't concern us? So those are, I, I'm just seeking clarity, because I'm not a lawyer, really. I'm quite innocent on this matter. So I just want to know why a procedural matter was not raised right from the beginning, that we are dealing with a matter which is strange to um, Lord Mayor Lukwago's client. Then we would have now decided, could it have been his twin brother? I've been, you know, as a politician, I've been mistaken many times. There was a time a statement was attributed to me when it was done by somebody else. So we could have probably passed our judgment since um, Lord Mayor trust you and the team. We could have passed our judgment and said, yes, we are, we are, we are convinced that the person in the, in the picture is not your client, and that would have been the end of the story. So I'm seeking clarity. Can we be guided? Is Lord Mayor ready to stand with the chair and the committee to process this case? And we promise to be just and fair. That is our commitment. If he's not, then that is OK. Let him uh, disclose to us that for some other reasons, you would prefer not to have this case processed by the committee. And that would be the end of the story. So I'm seeking clarification, Chair. I don't think you are seeking any clarification, but you posed questions, uh, not from the for the Chair, but uh, as, uh, as a senior member of Parliament and as a senior politician who is not a lawyer. The issue is, before you begin on any matter, you first deal with identifications. Because we are not inquiring now into the substance of that video, but we want to know whether we are dealing with the people who are here. And that's for purposes of our record. But the Honorable Zake has all the legitimate right even to keep quiet. Like indeed he has the legitimate right even to keep away from these proceedings, not even to enter here. He has that right. But as he exercises that right, the committee also has a duty to proceed and dispose of this matter and make a report. That will also have a right, irrespective of the decision the Honorable Zake takes. So let, let's put this for the last time, and these are the options we have. One, the Honorable Zake the question was, are you the one in that video or not? And you have the following op options. One, say yes, no, I don't know, or I am not going to answer. And we proceed. Chair, with all due respect to the committee, I hold you in the highest chair. The position of my client and the instruction is that he is ready to listen to the case being made out against him. Once the case, once the evidence is laid against him by the complainant, he will respond to any question put to him. But before evidence is laid against him, 
is protected by the Constitution not to make any self-incriminating statement. But, but you see, you said it many words, but the answer is, is not ready to answer it because of self-incrimination. And can the record capture that? No, 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 Chairman, that's not the reason. We are using the very words no. and the reason you've given. No, that was my argument as a lawyer. But for him, if that is going to be used against him, his statement was he would like to first listen to the evidence against him before he responds, if I can leave it at that. You know, the arguments which you, you've made, you can't run away from them because we have repeated it. Those arguments are already on record, by the way. And we are not inventing them, Honorable Kwago. Those arguments are on record and they came from you. I was citing the principle of the law chair. Cite it as the principle of law. Also, yes. let the record capture that. Because they are not our words. They are I was Kwago's citing the principle word. of law. But okay, his position Can is we, we are going to proceed like that. At this point, the Honorable Zake. He, he has declined, he declines to answer that question. And that is our finding as a committee. Colleagues, anybody who has a contrary opinion? No. Much That's what it is. Much obliged, Mr. Chairman. Now, one, uh, because we wanted to sort out all these preliminaries, then we begin on the what? On the case. So we are going to give the Honorable Chinyama Tama an opportunity uh, in the next hearing, okay, to raise the complaint which she she had in the what in the house to ask formally, good enough we've already raised the what uh, we've watched the video together. Uh, we also uh, chair, if you may, again seeking for your indulgence, chair one procedure matter before we go into the substance. On Tuesday, Chair, you made a ruling. In this case? Yes. In this case? Yes, when it came up for scheduling, mm -hmm. for the preliminaries, that the footage here we have just watched be taken to the Institute of Languages for transcription and translation. And we understood it to mean that this committee is doing its own transcription and translation, not the old one at the, which was done at the instance of the clerk to come to parliament. And uh, we applauded that decision because chair we have issues with the translation in the answer and would like to in go the answer yes this in the answer actually this very it's part of the answer the one she yes. was reading is part mm. of the answer mm. share there are things which are quite obvious even from the video footage you have watched here which are not properly which were not properly transcribed and since this is an inquiry would like this to be done perfectly so that we don't have this movement of forth and backwards. For example, the name in the video, it's clear. The, honorable, the, 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 the name mentioned here is Narumans Chamatama. Chamatama. Now in this recording, we are seeing Chinyamatama. We want that to be corrected by whoever did the translation. Okay, let's do this. Two, two, I wanted to point out still from that. But you see, you are taking us into the substance. Not the substance. Please, please. you are. You want us now to start examining what is there. We have not reached there. And you see, this is all caused by your, your client. Because you wanted to come out to the preliminaries, then we go to all those. You, de you decide, they say, no, keep out. Now you are raising contradictions within the evidence, which we have not even, uh, we have not conversed about it. So at this point, how do you expect us to canvass the evidence? 
what we are looking at are preliminaries. And the first preliminary point is what your client has declined of identification. If he can't even identify himself, how do you ex tell us now you should be identified either Chimatama or Chamanya Matama or Mama Matama? <laughs> how? Even the client has refused to identify himself. Now you want us to go and identify people within the video. Does that make either legal or common sense? We want to be understood, the Chair. We are trying we, hard. Yes, we, we are really trying hard, but no, I must say this. No, we chair. are finding difficulties in understanding. Let me tell you why. If you take us into the substance where we have not yet reached, you, you've already read it, you have contradictions which are there, which are going to be tested at the time we're analyzing the, the evidence. Chair, it's, uh, the reason I was raising this it's because the translation was read. The transcription first. The clerk was invited to read out the transcription and it's at an anti-translation. And we, we are looking at, at, uh, at uh, the pro preliminary matters. And we are saying yes, if we do not raise it at this stage that we are not content with the transcription done, at some stage we may be asked, why didn't you raise it before? If in the wisdom, and I respect your ruling, that we can raise the issue of the transcription, and because there was an order, I wanted to remind the committee, that there was an order which was made on Tuesday, and the order was that we be served that very day with the transcription, which we do not have. We do not have that transcription, neither do we have the translation of the same. And the order was on Tuesday. And it has Did not... Did you serve them with the, trans, the translation? Did you do? No, they... No, they, they, no, they what they brought is... The one which is embedded in the Hansard. The one embedded in the Hansard, not one done password to your directive. Uh, but, but you see, when we made a direction, we first of all did know that they had already gone to market. The club had already taken that step. And when we made the direction, they got the very translation which they had, because it is the same institution, Makerere University, Institute of Languages. Are they going to produce another different from what they, they gave parliament? And how do we divorce the club's parliament, clerk of parliament, from these proceedings? Anyway, you see, if you are looking for substantive justice, and that's the command of the Constitution, give undue regard to technicalities. And that's what it is. We've already had the translation. By the time we made the order on Tuesday, the clerk had already gone ahead. And the, the report, did you give it to the Honorable Clerk? You did. You already have it. If you are contesting it at an opportune time, you will contest it. What is the problem? Most of them, that comforts us that at an appropriate stage we shall contest it. But that is your job, really. <laughs> so let, let's do this. Uh, because we, we can't, we are going to proceed with this matter anyway. And I want to caution both sides, the Honorable Chinyamatama team and the Honorable Zaki. Uh, Honorable Zaki. We are going to proceed this matter as smoothly as possible. And every step we shall take will be anchored within the law. Every step we shall take. And we are not going to be dragged into what we think is not the correct thing. OK? Both of you, I have to caution both sides. Having said that, colleagues, one, Honorable uh, Chinyatama, you are going to present the case on. The other matter, we had journey to 20th. So this one, we had journey to the following day, which is 21st. And those are within the days Mr. Lukwago you had given, 21st. Uh, 
we are also going to look at the possible witnesses. You may, one, we, we, are, we are thinking of anybody who attended that, that occasion. And the owner of Chinyawatama, you may bring forward to us names and we shall examine. Those who attended that occasion, if, but we don't know because the owner of Zakele has refused to answer, so we can't tell him, give him a direction. We don't know whether he's the one or not. But it's you, you say, you brought it, you are responsible. So please, if there are any names you want, Please forward, you think are relevant, forward them to us, but whatever you forward to us, we are not going to swallow. We are, to, we are going to examine it and see whether it is relevant or not. Because those witnesses eventually will be our witnesses. So you have to forward them to us and we do the examination. Unfortunately, we have a problem with, because if the Honorable Zakat said, yes, that is me, we would be making the same directive or guidance. But on what basis? On what basis? No. I, my argument is that uh, you've asked Honorable Sobi to forward to us those if you are relevant uh, witnesses. But and on the uh, basis that she has, she's the one who brought the tapers, she has accepted. That's true. Yes. We have a problem with the, a, the other a technical side. problem. I now agree because uh, how we do are I, drowning it. How do, do I, how do I now make such a directive on somebody who said, I, 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 I have no way, to, I don't have anything to yeah, do with I, it. I, I agree with you. On that particular aspect, it becomes difficult because he has disowned it. So it becomes difficult. If I may beg your indulgence, the chair, uh, the Honorable Ukwabo, representing uh, the Honorable MP for Mitiana, did acknowledge having been served with the transcription and the translation. Maybe for the record, the clerk could bring it to attention when it was. Either no, that, that we already have the records. That's not much a problem. Much, much uh, Let me tell you one thing, uh, Honorable Tawa. Uh, uh, not yet on our table. We, we try to do everything in this committee formally. And we have all documentary evidence we need. And all the directives which we give to the club, she must bring evidence to me that she has done it. There is no material we lie on here which we don't supply you people. And in advance, because we don't ambush anybody. It is, first of all, it will be unconstitutional, it will be illegal, but it is also, it will be in bad faith, and we don't act in bad faith. So, all the documents we are talking about, including the, that tape, was already provided to the Honorable Zake. In time, there's nothing we didn't provide. And the evidence is there. You have the evidence, like, you acknowledgements yes everything we do have so that should not be a problem so we proceed uh, if there are any other possible witnesses we will sit as a committee after that and decide whom we can call okay any other issue before we just requesting to be accommodated the chair sure uh, you see I would like to proceed with this matter uninterrupted, but unfortunately on that day, I, I have another a case before Justice Nambayo Esther, uh, not as a lawyer, but as a litigant, it's required areas versus Ofono Pondo, and I'm required to physically be there as a litigant. You will, I will ask your indulgence, you accommodate me to delay by that means to at least register my presence there because the judge 
would like to have that matter conducted in my presence. But I, I thought we, the court system begins at 9. And then this matter is being fixed by 11 o'clock. No, 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 it's 10.30. And then we shall meet. We are going to give you the whole morning. We are going to meet in the, at 2. No, no, I can make it 11.30. Chair, I can make it 11.30. That's okay. Yeah. We are, we are even given you up to 2. But if you want to no. bring it, 11 that's 30. also okay. Thank you. That is how flexible we are. So, 11.30 on... On when is the 21st? 20th is Monday. Hey, please. Clerk, I'll note my diary properly. When is 21st? 21st will be Tuesday. Towards not practical. It's only saying 11 30. Oh, okay. So that means what we... Can push it the following day. Let's put it the following day. We are going to push it the following day because you know that's... Any, any matter of preliminary nature you want us to handle now? Because when we come back, we are going to the substance. <laughs> if you have any of those witnesses, forward the list to us by... For next week, colleagues, we can sit and go through that, their list. Okay? They don't have to be around. Then we shall take a decision. So forward them to us by close of business. When? Tell us when. Just the list. Because it will be the committee to invite those witnesses. Those who attended that particular function. The witnesses we could be interested are those who attended that particular function. Now that we even we might need the identifications. Chair, Thursday next week. No, that's too late. The, the, the complainant, after the evidence has gone on record, then we prepare the witnesses. Can also, for purpose of the record, do you submit to the jurisdiction of this committee? perplexing because the committee indicated to us that they were assigned a duty to investigate this matter. Pursuant to that mandate, the committee is conducting this business. Not at the instance of the Honali Bozake or any other person. And you earlier your own said, yeah, with or without the Honali Bozake, the committee will proceed. That's for sure. Uh, so, that's why I, I'm really perplexed. Teacher. There's nothing perplexing about it. These are all preliminary issues because we know how we are dealing with people who are submitted to our jurisdiction. It, it helps. But As let me say this. The person? <laughs> we will handle it anyway. We will handle it. But you see, th those are the most important things because we, we like to know all the people who appear before us and the recognized authority of this committee. That is quite crucial and important. And I'm sure the Honorable Chinyamatama has. The, the other part is perplexed. Colleagues? We will have to adjourn this matter to the 21st. However, next week on Wednesday,
Can we do Wednesday? We did 12, uh, just two hours in house. Two hours on Wednesday. Which day? Don't say Friday. I'll be going for Juma. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday is Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday is fine. We maintain 11 o'clock. Yeah. Tuesday for the internal committee meeting. Tuesday 11. So, honorable colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. This matter is adjourned accordingly. My committee members, may you remain behind?